And I think we are live, I think. <clears throat> Indeed we are. Yes, we are. Hello there, good evening to uh, the start of the second half of the season of the SBR, uh, uh, BTCC Blueprints with STD Ash Designs 84. Uh, yeah, round ten, uh, sorry, round four of the championship, and we are at the beautiful Suzuka track. I'm always a commentator, uh, Sean, and beside me, um, uh, who's a guy who unfortunately had a book just fell on his head, but he's only got himself to blame. It's Jenny Bear, how are you doing? I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? I'm doing not bad. I've got my food here, so you know, we're all good over here so that's that's lovely anyways we're getting nearly getting ready for some qualifying here but we're into now we're into the uh the second half of the season this is when it all counts for all the drivers because every point is now critical as we're going in towards the uh you know the nitty gritty sort of uh end of the championship so what jake mm -hmm. will happen here then uh well i mean it's definitely the kind of track that can definitely lead to errors, so everything's kind of up for grabs. Uh, I think the championship's pretty tight across the board, so being halfway through and kind of starting to see what you can realistically gain or not, most people will probably be pushing, so that, along with uh, a really good, I mean, uh, Suzuka's a fantastic track. You know, we're going to see a lot of fun racing, but it does have a couple of uh, areas where close racing plus points up for the grabs can lead to very huge losses in time coming through things like spoon the hairpin any of the degners like all of those can be very difficult and catch you off guard yep definitely um to note then uh just talking about the 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 championship points there we were talking like a couple of weeks ago with tompkinson like running away with the championship with they uh, taking a double win in the first round there but uh the gap has now come down a heck of a lot apparently he concurred a 15 second penalty in the third race and i can't mind what was that for so he went from finishing fifth all the way down to 12th place and it's really opened the championship up now tompkinson still leads as he's just had for a little spin at hairpin but he's now tied on points with adam piper who was uh, a winner last week at uh what was the track dragon trail so they're both sitting on 192 and them to really the class of the field at the moment liam McEwen, the season eight champion yeah season eight champion sits on 158 points then you've got rob adams on 155 ben milton the first of fords on 147 and shonko on 108 that is your top six um for the team's championships it's pretty much the honda show with uh sean and nathan dominating that championship but my reckon that's a 63 point lead they have over the audi uh, drivers of uh, rob and chris um then it's the Ford drivers of um, Ben and uh, Alex that are sitting... Well, it should be... Uh, no, it should be Adam. No, it's Volvo that should be third in the points, not Ford. Then it is the Ford in fourth. Then it's the Vauxhalls of uh, Ashley and Liam in fifth, 168. Uh, Nissan has had a driver change and so too has Renault, but we'll get into that as... Uh, we as we'll just see right now so this is the first of them that we're looking at here it no it's not jordan hogan and as i said at the start of the season jordan could just race us whenever he wants to at the moment so i think he's been thrown out of the championship so he's been replaced by this guy ethan graham and lewis edwards who we saw last week that's not him oh we're just getting qualifying underway uh edwards has replaced uh nathan myers because he, he somehow cannot connect to ben's uh, lobby now so unfortunately he's uh, pulled out so Lewis Edwards has taken uh, has taken his spot as qualifying is underway and uh, Milton has eaten out first so what we're, what we're going to see from qualifying here looks like Milton's going to start the race on medium tie so he's probably going to sacrifice himself but what about Piper and Tompkinson because they're sitting joint top of the championship so what what are Tompkinson they going to do for mediums. Tompkinson's mediums and Piper is Dark. he's on the soft tie so he wants to get uh, that point for the pool I mean historically speaking in this series having watched half of it it's a pretty big advantage for both Ben and uh I guess Sharp is also on mediums Tompkinson's on mediums but if that's it oh nope Clements is also on mediums. So four people are starting on mediums. 
they should be able to kind of have their own race. It's a lot of people. If they end up all together, they can slow each other down so much that they can negate that advantage. Um, it seems like when they've been like two people and three people doing it, they've been able to get the track to themselves enough to all gain quite a bit from it. So quite a, it's probably about as many as we usually see starting on it. Yeah. The real question is if they can get anyone to like, like Clements is sitting in a position where if he could just keep with them somehow, like you could just kind of get pulled to a much quicker lap than you could actually run if you can just kind of somehow catch the slip in the, what, there's two real zones that you have to worry about slip, but then somehow you have to find a way to keep up your pace with them. Mm -hmm. So that'd be my biggest worry is just like, you can't really keep pace on this track. There's a lot of sections where those super softs are going to gain a ton of time. Or like, if you're in Adam's spot, you're probably just going to get slowed down by Ben here. Like if you can't find a way by him real quick. So we're just looking here at Clements, who's not having the ideal start of uh, what he did last season by finishing second place. That was obviously because the the, uh, the disconnect that he had in race two and it compromised him for the third race after picking up a podium, uh, the first race at Dragon Trail. Looks like Edwards is slowing down, wants to get some free space and that, well, doesn't want any help at all, as uh, Edwards was the fast span in practice. Nice to see Colin Barrow back after a week absent. Obviously, Edwards I think would have made him proud. was a little bit quicker, like 2.73 seconds quicker, but oh, was he, he pulled off the track, so that's oh. why he wasn't displaying him first. He oh, got right, I didn't, didn't pay attention to that there. I only just seen that Edwards had the fastest time in practice uh, early on. Of all seeing that, I did come in this lobby about four, like, about start at seven o'clock, really. So looking at Colin Barrow, just making his way through the first corner, which is a very important corner, that, because you don't want to mess it up through there. Now makes its way in towards the snake complex, the S curves. And then going in towards Ganku, that's turn six, and then into Dunlop. Got five people watching there. Don't forget, give this race uh, a, a video a thumbs up, please. It'll be uh, nicely appreciated and get some subs there too. Oh, Colin Barrow nearly gets it all wrong at Dunlop. That's going to compromise him a little bit of time now. Now into one of the, another important corner, Degna 1, because you don't want to clip the tyres on the gravel because it will just sink you in for Degna 2 and then, you know, there's a whole load. Oh, and Colin Barrow's gone off. It's a tyre wall off of Degna 2, so that's a uh, qualifying run ended there for him. No less. I mean, yeah, it's only going to be about one lap, and like I said, Adams has been in a bad spot. He's still behind Milden, so yeah, just looking at him right now. He's been blocked the whole time around here because he just can't take advantage of it. So, I mean, good for Milden. He's probably going to get a better qualifying than he should. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just like he was a little, uh, gapped up too close, which means McEwen's getting a real hot lap with no one really pressuring him. Same with. Uh, was Ethan Graham, is that his name correctly? Ethan Person Graham, yep, yep. Graham, yeah. There it is, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so there's a lot of people who didn't get slowed up. You know, the same thing kind of happened to uh, Chevalier with uh, Tompkinson being on medium since he just got around him as well, and they both started right behind him. So here we go. We're going to have nearly about 30 seconds to go until the end of the qualifying. Rob does go to the Pope, but not for long. Liam takes it now. Uh, Ethan Graham, just who was just relatively new, uh, just just a, a very much late replacement, has gone up into second place. Take it back now. It's been all swapping and changing. Austin had the fastest time, and now Sean Koo had the fastest time, as well as Adam Piper. But it's now Koo that leads the way from uh, Austin, who really needs a good uh, race here. Oh, sorry, that's not Austin. That's uh, Edwards. My apologies. Edwards in second. Then it's Austin in third. Piper fourth. McEwen fifth. And Ethan Graham, the new guy who was uh, a very, very late replacement. You can see there he's got the Hogan uh, name on his car as he is a very, very, very late replacement to uh, to Jordan Hogan. So I think, you know, he's, he's had relatively uh, not a lot of track time and so far currently sitting in sixth place. Well, I've seen him race. He's, if I remember correctly, he's one of the, I think he's currently winning the LMP once in their multi-class event. So he has a lot of pace. Um, so he can definitely keep up with everybody, but... I mean, I think that first lap was really a lot of people on uh, Supersofts catching up on mediums. And if you scroll through the times, it literally says zero next to, like, the entire top, like, six of most. Like, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and then zero, 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 just zeros for days. <laughs> so everyone ran basically the same lap there. Just seeing Alex Austin ghost and his way through happen. I think he is done. So Austin really needs a, 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 a great Suzuka race because he's sitting quite low in the championship. He wants to be uh, further up there. There's uh, Austin. 
Another guy that wants to do very well is uh, Sharp. Ah, Sharp, there he is. There a little bit of confrontation with uh, with Piper, and uh, Sharp picked up points last week. And, uh, well, this lap, I mean, I guess maybe this lap improves. I didn't see how that, his other lap wasn't that good, but he's gone. He went wide there at Spoon, so that probably cost him a whole. Yeah, so he's plus four tenths. So it doesn't look four. like he's probably going to improve off that, unless he just has the chicane of the lifetime here. I mean, that's one way to do it. Rob improves. So too does Ethan Graham. Graham goes into third place there. So solid effort from him. Chevalier goes into eighth. And uh, Tompkinson, the championship leader, is sitting in tenth place. Uh, but he's also on the medium tyres. And I think that's the end of qualifying by the yeah, looks of it. Because he everyone else. What can Edwards fine. do, though? Edwards doesn't improve. And then here comes Austin. Oh, he was ghosted, so he's not going to improve at all. And then yeah, last I don't think one, any more improvements coming across unless, well, yeah, he did. Col I was going to say unless Colin Col Barrow jumped up yeah, to 13th. Yeah, Colin Barrow did, so he went up into 13th place. So that is it. Sean Cool gets the pole position and that all-important championship point. Second will be Lewis Edwards, uh, again returning to the championship and replacing Nathan Myers. But more crucially, Piper out-qualifies uh, Tompkinson. But although saying that, Piper did start on the Super Softs and Tompkinson will start on the mediums. Now, this is actually kind of uh, reminiscent of what happened in the first round at the Nürburgring because Tompkinson qualified in 10th place and won the race. Can he do it again here in the first race tonight? It's going to be interesting. I would say he's uh, probably pretty happy about beating four people in qualifying, um, considering four people start on softs or on mediums. So it means he's the fastest of the medium drivers, which means he should be able to just go do his pitch strategy and race his own race and just take the win exactly like he did in previous rounds on this strat. So that was how the starting grid looks then for the first round of three tonight. Sean Coo in the Honda, Lewis Edwards in the Renault, uh, Ethan Graham in the Nissan, and then fourth is Alex Austin. Away they go for the first of eight laps, and Coo gets uh, a great start by the looks of it. Ethan Graham trying to have a look around the outside, going in towards the first corner, which is going to be very brave if he can make it stick, but he may lose a spot though to Austin. Into the first corner, hopefully all nice and tidy through there. Hopefully no contact, maybe. All nice and clean, that's good to see. Just slight contact. Slightly, a little bit. That's typical uh, BTCC. This but is I'll... where it's going to get dangerous. Yes, the uh, the whole amount of S-curves. And it looks like we've already gone into single file formation. Even further back then, Chevalier is going to lose a spot to Thomas Welsh. And then there's the, uh, the joint championship leader, Tomkinson, right behind the Frenchman as they go through Dunlop for the first time. Only eight laps in this race. Again, the second race is a uh, ball draw. And then the third race will be a reverse grid draw. So at the moment, Sean Cool still leads the way over Lewis Edwards. Austin in third. Ethan, oh, Cool's run wide. Hits the touch the tie walls of, of, of deck the two. And through into the lead goes Lewis Edwards. Second now goes to uh, uh, Austin. Or does he? No, oh, nearly a, a bit of contact. Up. Little bit of contact, but still Austin gets That's it through. Throw. Oh, the whole field's going to group up on that contact. Indeed they are. Now in towards 200. Ah, oh, let's ride on board with Adam Piper as they're going in towards the Spoon Curve. Turn 13 to 14. Still holding on to that fifth place. Again, still ahead of Tompkinson. Tries to go late on the brakes. Makes contact with Ethan Graham. Ethan keeps the Nissan on the road, didn't hit off to the Astro, that little green turf there, because that would just, again, shoot you off, and behind him, Rob Adams, too, in the Audi, he can still say he's a bit of a championship threat, too, Rob Adams, he's actually all over the back of the Volvo drivers, they're going in towards one of the dangerous corners, the 130R, and Piper just gets ahead of Adams, but it is still Edwards from Austin, from Cool, from Graham, and Piper still trying to find a way around the outside as we go into the Casino Triangle. Thomas oh, Rose gets into his teammate! Ball. Thomas gets into his teammate! And that is huge complications for the championship! Oh, into the pits. Hey, everyone made it in. Okay, I, I was like, man, some people might not be able to make the pits because they're trying to come in right now and everyone's getting oh, wrecked everywhere. That's the number one rule in motor racing. You never, ever take out your teammate, and that is what Thomas has just done. Oh, my goodness me. There'll be some talking in the Volvo camp after this race, and I tell you what, Adam will not be too happy with that. I mean, he's, he's probably let his teammate by, but that has probably thrown off Piper's chance of wanting to get a, a decent finish here with that incident because now you've well, got Tompkinson that will go into the soft tyres now hasn't he? 
I mean, arguably speaking, everybody got gathered up in that thing and lost time, and pretty much people were jumping in pits and having to stop for that, so it'll be hard to see how much total time was lost, because, I mean, he's still right with Liam. Liam's got a lot of pace. Colin Barrow got through, it looks, without too much of a scrape, but it looks like they lost about almost four seconds to that lead group who had already gone through the chicane before that happened, so... He still has it in range. You can make it up. There's plenty of time, but you definitely need to start making it up now because oh. the people who have switched are not far behind. Milton just did the same thing what Cool did a lap ago. In fact, Cool's gone into second place. Austin's in the lead. Um, who are we missing? We're missing Edwards. Edwards must have made a mistake. He's down to fourth place. Going back to what I was just about to say, though, with Piper, with that spin there, now, Tompkinson has made his pit stop. He's now onto the super softs, and the gap between the Tompkinson to Piper is only two seconds. It could have been a lot more if Thomas hadn't got into him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that everyone who was on medium switching to softs came out like a bandit because they were going into the pits when all that stuff happened. So, yeah, it's going to be tough to make this race up, but there's still two races to go. So, you just got to focus down and get what positions oh. you can try to get points. Austin trying to defend the lead from Sean Coe. I think this is the first time Austin is lead is hit late on the brakes and through back into the lead goes the pole. So the Sean Coe retakes the lead of the race. Meanwhile, Edwards and uh, Ethan Graham are side by side. They're Graham nearly pushing uh, Lewis off the track. And it's going to allow Adams and Chevalier to catch up. And McEwen has uh, fallen way down into seventh place. I don't know if he was affected by the uh, the lap one incident. But anyway, Colin Bartles. Oh, Piper may have hey, gone by Colin Barrow. lost about a second on that. Uh, so he's still losing time on these laps. So he needs to find some pace to catch up to him. But with how they're battling through these S's, they might get some gap. But four seconds, is a, it's now five seconds. It's just not coming down at all. Tompkinson has just passed Thomas Walsh there. That's for P10. So now he's got Colin Barrow. He's just one and a half seconds uh, ahead. But again, the gap between Cool to his teammate, Tompkinson, is less than 10 seconds. So I wonder where this is going to come out for Tompkinson uh, now that he's now on to the super soft tyres but meanwhile Cool and Austin not giving up Austin seems to be quite quick in practice but then his race pace really doesn't show for it so this is a <clears throat> like I said a, a must uh, a better performance this for, for Alex and so far it's doing it right so far meanwhile uh, a great battle going on there for third place a four car scrap there with Adams leading the way then it's Ethan Graham and then you've got the two Reynolds again with uh, Chevalier and Lewis Edwards now. They're both going to be side by side. And Edwards just nearly shuts the door in Chevalier's face. Going into 200R. And then McEwen, 44.2 back. And then he's got uh, the championship leader, Adam Piper, right behind him too. Followed by Colin Barlow. And then Tompkinson in 10th. 11th is Thomas. 12th is Ben Milton. Clements in 13th. And Ash Sharp sitting in 14th position. But all of the guys from Tompkinson, Milton, Clements and Sharp have already made their pit stop. Now onto the super soft, so they, can go, they are good to go the rest of the way. As Austin tries to pass, Sean Cool, who goes on to the runoff area, and he's still going to hold on to the lead, or does he, into the Casillo triangle, side by side for fourth place too, as Edwards and Graham, they're going at it yet again. And oh, a little Chevalier's touch. trying to find it. Inside. Yeah, yeah. That's like a couple times he's <laughs> trying to find the inside on him and he keeps getting the door shut or he keeps having a slow door. He actually ends up helping out Edward oh! more. Battle for oh, the lead. Real defensive into now, this. Yeah, he nearly pushed Austin all the way to the pit ball. And look at Ethan Green puts a forceful block on uh, Edwards going in towards the first corner. By oh, by, that was quite aggressive there for me. Oh, Ethan. Chevalier's sideways. Oh, Chevalier did go off. Let's have a look. I wonder if he got interrupted by that. Uh, that Pretty much that big block there from uh, uh, from uh, Graham. So here he goes. I uh, just clips the Astro. And that's one thing we hadn't touched upon is, well, you were saying that earlier in the stream about the first corner and deck now, is you don't want to touch that, that Astro there because it will put you off in the biggest possible way. And it has. And you can see there that uh, Chevalier's lost an awful lot of ground to his teammate. He was still having that tremendous battle with, uh, with Ethan Graham just ahead. Yeah, I mean, when you're trying to keep as much pace up as you can through there, because you're, like, trying to be as light on the brakes while, like, getting your car to rotate, because you want to use the track. It's the same as Degner 2's exit. You're wanting to use as much of the track as possible. That, like, you just put that back tire on something that has no grip while you're trying to accelerate, and the car's just going to spin. It's going to lose grip instantly. Like, you know, the curbs don't really go burr as much in GT Sport. They just kind of go slip. 
But you were just saying about Degna 2 there. I was just looking at Colin Barrow. He ran right off of Degna 2 and he's lost three positions as a result. Cool. Edwards and Hogan's replacement, uh, Graham, are, have been in just a bumping door-to-door, front-to-back battle <laughs> for a solid like two or three laps, and it's pretty much just whoever gets caught up with them also has to battle. And yeah, it cost Chevalier time, it's why he's back two seconds, is he was just up in their battle with them trying to get by. They're going to do it into 130R. Yeah, this is a weird s- idea. Yeah, that's, okay. that's not that's a great smart. move. Yeah, I think <laughs> Edwards fought best of it then. Goes to around the outside, trying to go late on the brakes as he can into the Casillo triangle. Oh. Graham shortcutting that, the first part of that triangle, but still holds on. Now will he put another forceful block on Edwards as we come across the start finish line? No, he's going for an overlap. Now. He's got the overlap now. But has he got the speed? Has that Renault got the speed going into the first I mean, corner? You can hold the outside in this corner. It's a real high speed corner. You could go side by side and try to keep him low on you. Ah, he doesn't. Ooh. And Edwards goes through. Up he's into fourth. Oh, he's at the oh, he's at the eight. He must have touched the Astral. Did Edwards and threw nah, back he just in the went fourth. In late. Uh yeah, it looked like uh he just braked early so that he could go underneath him, knowing he was gonna try to use the whole track, and what do you do once the car's on the inside of you? You can't come back down again. Still an impressive show of this from Graham, who's just a very, very late replacement. I think he was only been called to race to this team about, what, roughly half an hour left before the stream actually started. So, Pim is sitting in fourth place. He's, he's had literally no... Side by side through Degner? Mm. Oh, that's that's going to be brave yet again. Yeah, this is death written all over it. Yeah. Who's going to be yeah, the big loser? It's Edwards. Oh, Edwards. What a catch. <laughs> oh, he was in the dirt. I mean, you knew you were going to get punted off. There, were, Like, you knew that was going to happen, right? <laughs> uh, definitely. That's how I he mean, had to have caught it. He had to have, as soon as he got punted, he had to be like, yeah, of course that was going to happen. We knew what was going to happen there. It just looked to me that Graham just understeered through Degna 1, because the car never wanted to steer. Well, yeah, that's how Degna 1's taken. You tap the brakes just to get that little bit of rotation, and your car is going to wipe out the entire track. There's nothing you can do to make your car stay on the inside. It isn't like Spoon where he can get a little bit more on the brakes to hold an inside line like he's doing right now, right? Degner, yeah. you have no choice. You have to take it full speed. So if they're, you're on the outside of a car, they're, they're going to kill you. you. Like, especially if you have no overlap like he had, you're going to get killed. Like, which is why I think he saved it, because as soon as it happened, he probably straightened his wheel out like, yeah, of course I knew I was about to get punted in the dirt. He's going to go around on 130R this time, though, because he has the extra overlap. Oh, he, he caught does the, have grass. the overlap. Oh, he's caught the grass, yeah, just when I was cutting off it. And again, goes off to the runoff area. And Graham holding on to fourth place for his dear life at the moment. Edwards is trying to find a way by. And he wants to get by in a hurry, but he just can't get by Graham because he's sticking the car in the right place at the right time. And well, Chevalier it, comes Chevalier's in to get rid in. of his super softs. It's quite early to make a pit stop here on lap six. And again, a forceful block down oh, from Graham. Did he me? Oh, now he's going to oh, go to the inside. No. Oh, he's... I mean, anyone who... Like, Tomkinson's got to be loving this as he's just closing that gap down and down and down. The leaders are loving because they can race their own race. And, I mean, they're probably loving it too because I would love to be part of that race right now. Just looking here, just uh, looking at a replay. Tompkinson has gone by Piper, and again, Tompkinson is yet he's made his pit stop, but his Piper hasn't. So this is going to be big for the championship already. With uh, Tompkinson getting by Piper, McEwen in eighth, oh, and don't I don't go think for the he's pitted. Move, Edwards, don't do it. Like you're going to get punted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my God! Don't get punted again. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think with Degner 1, you've got to set it up to make the move on Degner 2. Because you know they're going to run wide. You can get a wider angle and cut underneath them. You can get it set up for even the hairpin. But, like, you can't. If you're set up for Degner 1. Oh, here he goes! Here he goes! To the inside of the hairpin! But then Green would have to speed off the corner. But he's who have the inside for 200R. Oh, Oh. it gets into him! He's getting desperate. You can tell Edwards is getting so desperate to get into him. He's trying to he's trying to ruffle Ethan up. Yeah, and while that's happening, Adams has closed the gap up to Austin, so he is right on Austin coming down the back straight oh. as well, coming up on 130R. I think Austin may have, sorry, oh, I think, I think Edwards has got it this time. He has now up into fourth place, finally. And now Edwards there trying to weave back, back left and right, trying to break the tool. But all this battling has allowed Tompkinson to make his way into this well, fight Tompkinson now. Tompkinson probably is terrified of this fight a little bit in the fact that 
they're probably going to stay out another lap. He's going to catch them, and, like, you just... This is going to cost him time. Oh, like, really, really overlap! Graham gets on the inside! <laughs> oh, my days! And into the pits goes Graham! Time. Austin's also in, too. That might have been what Tompkinson needed so he doesn't have to fight anymore. Dearie me, and now look! And now look, and now Tompkinson has gone into the battle. Meanwhile, oh, McEwen's uh, moving up and... Oh, and they're all coming out of the yeah, pits. Yeah, McEwen... Mayhem. McEwen's gone by side by side for the first corner with Tompkinson and Edwards. Did he beat this first race is entertaining as well? This look at this. McEwen has gone by Piper now, so Austin is down to seventh. Um, well, Adams and Adam, uh, Sean both still need to come in for a pit, yeah. so they're going to be coming in at the end of this lap, and they have a seven-second lead, roughly seven-second and five-second lead on Tompkinson, so he's probably going to go by them. I think Tompkinson is going to do exactly the same what he did in the first race. I should probably go by them as well. No, Edwards looks like he still needs to pit, actually. Cool, Rob. Yeah, so Cool, uh, Adams, Edwards, McEwen, and Piper all need to yeah, pit. Liam still needs to pit as well. Yeah, so they're yeah. all already gone to Tomp. Yeah, I think Tompkinson's probably going to have that decent little gap. And the next closest person to him is going to be Austin. Austin, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there he is, just sitting in that seventh place. He's got his teammate behind him, who's a second back. But he has made the pit stop, and he's on the soft tyres now, is uh, Ben. Making our way through Spoon Care for the penultimate time in race number one. Piper holding on to that sixth place, but he's going to lose the championship joint lead that he had over Tompkinson. It's just going to be a matter of case of where Piper's going to come out when he makes his uh, pit stop after this lap. Meanwhile, Sean Cool runs off at 130R. He's got to be careful. He doesn't want to be doing too much of that. But this is when uh, he'll make his pit sure stop. I'm pretty sure it's a loss in time no matter what. The wider you open that angle up, the lo no matter what, you're losing time. I thought it was more of a game because uh, I've seen Edwards do that. I think it was the lap before, and he, he pulled a bit away on Graham. Anyways, was to leave us in. Was he racing a car, though? So yeah, he yeah, was racing, racing a car. It's different, right? Because you're not working on a lap time. You're working on beating someone to a corner, and you've got the inside, so and you can open it up and still be quicker. But if you're on a lap time, the further left you keep it, the small, the shorter you're making the track. The shorter you're making the track, the better your lap time. And so, out. yeah, I mean, Edwards is losing time, but so is whoever else he's racing. Yeah, indeed. Just about to say that Tompkinson has gone into the lead of the race. He has passed his teammate, so it looks like it's going to be a Honda 1-2 with the championship leader going to extend the gap. Where is Piper in all of this? Adam is down in ninth place, so this is not good for Piper. And again, this is all affected by what happened to his teammate on the first lap getting into him. So this has really not helped Piper's chances of a championship here. But it is yeah, a Honda 1-2. Yeah, Edwards, McEwen, uh, Piper, Chevalier, um, Anna Hogan's replacement, Graham, are all, and even Thomas are all still pretty much in a one-lap battle. Some of them are falling back just a little bit. Um, and then we've also got the battle for third where they're all within a few pins. So. Yeah, it's a case of who wants and, that bottom step now. <clears throat> yeah, I just don't think the, the two Audi drivers. And this is what Alex needs. If he could hold on to third place, that is a much needed result for Alex. He's been struggling in this championship. And, well, you've you know, only got to defend about two corners. No one's going to go for the move at 130R. That would be, like, it just doesn't work. But that's that's suicidal. Then, yeah. Literally suicidal. So you need to defend Spoon, and you need to defend uh, the Cassie H game. <clears throat> that's it. Here we go, but then. if you Ooh, run wide he on runs Spoon, a little wide, like he did just oh. then. Now Rob's all over the back. That's not what Alex needed to do. And just because I say no one should make the move at 130R, on the final lap, absolutely, probably are going to go for a move anywhere they can. Like, yeah, oh! Ben gets a run here, he'll go for it. Ooh, He's ben going for it. Adam's the bomb. <laughs> we'll cut back then. So here we go, Ben. Tompkinson did exactly what he did in the first race oh, at their beginning. Oh, Ben's going through. Ben has gone through. He got late on the brakes and then just kind of bullied his way all over through here. As now Clements is bullying through as well. Adam's and dropped through. And he's gone through. Positions. He's lost, yeah, he's lost a couple of spots there, so we'll have a look at a replay for that, actually. Nathan Tompkinson does win the round, but let's see, yeah, that, that was hugely late on the brakes, and nearly gets into Austin, too, did uh, Ben. That was uh, rather heroic stuff, and pushed him out onto oh, the yeah. gravel. I wonder if the stewards will have a look at that. 
If that I was mean, a bit forceful. Was rough. Yeah, that did look a bit rough. That chicane hurt a lot of races that race, so I'm excited to see that chicane next race. <laughs> Definitely. But anyways, well done then to Tomkinson. Yet another win, and that's a huge uh, championship uh, for well for his championship there by winning the race and also taking the fastest lap of the race. So we'll let, let's get your race results because we didn't say it though. So Tomkinson won. Then it's his teammate Sean Cool, Alex Austin in third. Uh, then Ben Milton fourth. Then it is uh, Chris Clements in fifth. Then Rob Adams six. So you got the two Hondas one two, the the two Fords three four, and the two Audis five six. Uh, Lewis Edwards in seventh. McEwen eighth. Ninth is Adam Piper, so he's going to lose a lot of ground to Tom Kinsella in the championship. Chevalier, 10th. Ethan Graham, who we did see the entirety, like in the top five, end up being an 11th place. So that's, you know, he didn't deserve that 11th place there. Colin Barrow, his teammate in 12th. Thomas Welsh in 13th. And Sharp bringing up the rear in 14th place. But my, oh my, what a first race that was. I mean, I don't know when people are going to learn to start on mediums for their qualifying. Tom Kinson does it to them almost every week. Like, every week, starts on mediums, dominates first race. Yeah, I, I, I did say that something about that, in, in, I think it was in the second round, if people would do exactly the same, but obviously not. So, let's get on with the ball draw for race two. This is only for ball six through 14. Although, dominates is a funny word, considering Sean was right with him, but I think <laughs> Sean, did Sean also start on mediums, I believe? No, Sean started on the super softs. Okay. Well then, yeah. I don't know. Tompkinson still dominates <laughs> them with that strategy. Yeah, if, if I mean, if you had the other drivers just look at doing that as well, then they could be up front there too with, with Tompkinson. Anyway, so here we go. Ball draw. I've got a ball with me, and let's see who it is. It is. I'm going to open it up right now. It is number thirteen. So Thomas Walsh, who caused the incident with his teammate. It's got to start on the pool for race two, and it will redemption be Tomkinson. Race. Yeah, this is a redemption race here for Thomas. He needs to maybe help his teammate by, you know, possibly punting winning. off Tomkinson. <laughs> I, I mean, know. you can do it that way too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was but thinking just win the race it. that reduces the points of Tomkinson right there. Yeah, so that that's a huge implications already to Piper's chances there by finishing in ninth place and Tomkinson winning it. So uh, Piper's got all, all to do now in the second race because he's going to start 10th in the grid and uh, Tompkinson's going to start second. So then what's going to happen so in the cool. second race? So far starting 10th in the grid gets you wins, right? Well, yeah, it's happened to Tompkinson on a couple of occasions. So why not Piper? Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see a lot of... A lot of the people that are going to race. Uh, it's a really tight field, so uh, I can't wait to see, you know, if Edwards can move his way up the field as he didn't have the best race. Uh, Graham as well. Piper as well. Um, but at the same time, like, you know, see if uh, anyone can keep up there and keep up with Tompkinson, because he did get slowed down a little bit. He gets to start at the front this time. Well, I mean, I guess one from the front. You know, will Thomas challenge him for the first corner or just let him through like we've seen so many weeks? where the first person blocks, like, third back, but lets second place through almost. Mm-hmm. Um, so we've seen that, and if I'm sitting where Tompkinson is, I'm probably pretty excited, because you've probably seen two or three weeks where the person who starts lead just kind of lets second place through and then defends third back and just slows everybody down behind, where we get insane battles, second, third, fourth, and fifth, and the leader's just eight or nine seconds ahead. So I bet he'd probably be pretty excited to try to kind of use that as an advantage because uh it seems to happen quite often if you're aggressive right off the bat yeah uh and suzuka if i remember correctly starts pole on the left so that would mean that second place is actually on the inside of turn one yeah this track is is not the the only thing that's wide here is the uh, the, the start finish line and then everyone, everywhere else, it's it's, it's quite a bit narrow, so... Uh, it, it is it, very narrow for the best yeah. line. It has a lot of yeah. alternate lines you can take. You can get side by side, but it's just like, you gotta know if you're side by side, you're losing time. Unless you're just, unless someone side by side you off the racing line. But if you're like fighting over the racing line side by side with someone, you are losing time to someone who's not fighting over the racing line. So... 
it's one of those deals where you can, can be really, you can gain positions in the S's, but if you're not careful about it, after pits, you're going to lose those positions anyways. Right, so just looking at some of these tyre compounds that the drivers are starting in in race two. Looks like Chevalier is going, starting on mediums. Colin is going to start on super softs, as does Ben. And Edwards, McEwen, Sharp, O on mediums. Then you've got Thomas, the pool sitter. He's going to start on the super softs with Adams. I think uh, I think you need to clarify to Liam, because you said in chat, ball 13, Walsh on pole. But I think you mean ball 12? No, ball 13. It was Thomas Welsh. Okay. Oh, I was looking at the... Sorry, I was looking at the thing wrong. That would be... I got you. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, Thomas Welsh, because he finished 13th. Yeah, yeah. I, I one of the things didn't load, so I was looking at it wrong, and it said, "I got you." <laughs> right then. So anyway, getting back to what I was saying, Tomkinson is going to start on the super softs. Austin and Graham will too, and it looks like Clements and Sean are starting. Uh, Clements on the mediums and Cool on the super softs. Uh, yeah, a lot more people starting mediums. I think that's consistent with what we've seen. When the second race comes, and they can just start on whatever compound they want. Uh, more people will start on the mediums. I think it's still a lot of people just being really careful about starting, about qualifying on mediums. Like give, but like, yeah. Tomkinson's constantly proving that. You, so what? You're qualifying against the medium qualifiers, not the soft qualifiers anymore. And if you qualify at the front of that, you win the race. Simple as that. So we're getting ready then yeah. for the second race. So it's Thomas Welsh on the pool. Followed by the championship leader, Tompkinson. His teammate, Sean Cool, third. Teammates, fourth and fifth. Teammates, sixth and seventh. Edwards, McEwen, Piper, Chevalier, Graham. Uh, then it is uh, Colin Baru, And then it is Sharp. Bringing up Correct. the rear. So here we go. Thomas. It's his first pull of the season. I think it'll be his first career pull, by my reckoning. And the lights are out and we are underway. Thomas May got a little sleepy off the start. He may lose the lead going into the first corner. And there we go then. Watch them cars fan out three wide, four wide going into the first corner. And Tomkinson back in the lead. I think that's cool. what he Runs wants because if he gets him to yep. close off. Yeah, which he has done. So that's now a yeah. full lead for Tomkinson. Now Tomkinson's. he's going to slow down everybody else. Oh, Austin gets into the back of Thomas then. And again, we all go single file through the S curves. Uh, I think I just saw someone just running a little bit right there. Look at that sharp. And yeah, Colin Bardo. Colin Bardo's lost a bit of time. Oh, there's a Liam Piper. Oh, that is all sorts of battling through there. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's have a look. Graham can end up gaining like two or three positions out of this if he keeps it he up. He has. Yeah, he's gained a spot now. So McEwen up to ninth. And Graham up to P10. Now, McEwen has st is started on the medium tyres, so expect the, the guys on the mediums to pit on this lap. And then go well, soft the rest of the way. Tompkinson is on mediums, by the way. Just toss oh, he there. is? Like, oh, right. He's leading the race on mediums. He doesn't have to pit when he's in the lead until someone passes him, because he's in the lead. No matter what, he's still beating all the super softs on their pit strategy, because he's in the lead. He can run mediums as long as he wants. Say about that. <laughs> Until one of these super soft spassy. Because his <laughs> strategy has already lapped them. Lap one, turn one. And Thomas is on the super softs and he can't do anything on Tompkinson, so. Yeah, Tompkinson really doesn't need to pit. Look at it there, yeah. Yeah, like you'd normally come in here or you'd be wanting to come in, but technically, if you're in first, you've already lapped them. They have to catch back up to you with a pit stop, not the other way around. Oh, Walsh gets a little oh. from Austin, too. Yeah, a little bit there. Just, good. Oh, Sean's just... getting opportunistic about it because it slowed oh, everybody down. Oh, he does. Down. He's going around the outside, clips the grass sideways, oh. oversteering into the Casillo Triangle and holds on to that fifth place. Now, will Tompkins a pit? No, he stays out. So, There's yeah, no you're caught right. He won't pit until someone passes him. It makes no sense to pit. All those mediums are, like, beyond behind him now. Although, if they're going to start catching up, you got to worry about that, but... Like, all these super softs aren't even in the race with him anymore. Just see the comment there from Fish. Just finish Audi, race one. Who won? It's the guy that you're looking at on the screen right now. The championship leader now, Nathan Tompkinson. He leads the way ahead of Thomas in second. Third is Austin, side by side with Ben. Oh, and Austin holds on to that third place so over Ben. Hold, it's so hard to hold the outside line around here, but you just want to pass. Yeah, yeah, that... that. <laughs> You can make it over to It's all about getting set up for this run. If you can get a setup on the Degner run, 
you can get it done in time. Like, you can actually get on the outside enough that they're going to have to back out on you. But that's about the only place in the S is it's safe. Everything else is kind of hoping they don't just, like, understeer right through you. You think Graham then now into sixth place? Seventh is uh, Chevalier. Are you still on the medium tire? So we didn't pit on the second air on the first lap. Colin Barrow in eighth. Over the rest of them has now gone into the soft tires, including the Audi drivers, Clement and Adams. And then you've got McEwen oh. in 11th. Austin's pushing Tompkins. Or I don't know if it's actually Tompkinson getting pushed, but they were side by side going through there. But I'm mean, still slowing everyone down. This is killing their super soft times right now, running at medium pace. <laughs> oh yeah, look at Austin. Yeah, he tried to make a lunge. I'm just They're looking at the hairpin. His pace. Oh, bumping him. That's one way to get through. And threw it to the and lead. Now what's happened? Concede, but that's the race. Free abreast. So free abreast in the sprint cab. Oh, and that's 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 Tompkinson. He's been shoved off. They were free abreast at the they're, spoon cab. Holy moly. in like rolling formation right now into 130R, by oh, the way. Oh, Tompkinson went off. He understeered through the spoon cab, tried to get back on the track right in front of uh, Walsh. And uh, that, and um, sorry, that's Austin. And then Milton, I mean, there was nowhere for Milton to do. That wasn't his fault, though. What a catch from Thomas. He almost caught a little auto spin curve there. Now I'm wondering if Tompkinson can pit now, and indeed he does, yeah, he does pit. To. Yeah, yeah, your, your strategy of keeping them all back and slowing them down is over once anyone gets by, let alone all of them. So but now, I still think he probably has enough. As long as he comes out in front of all those uh, medium drivers, he's fine. We don't really know how much time he lost on that spoon incident as... Oh, well, there we go. Confirmation. Yeah, he's, that Piper, Piper's That's gone tough. ahead. Piper's gone ahead to Tompkinson. Yeah, he's going to have to work it back through. It's a recovery race for him now. But don't forget... he wanted to be in front of him. I don't think it's going to be the end of the world, because if you think about it, the third race is a reverse grid. If he wants to stay 12th, he'll start third in the third in the final race. So, I mean, it's up to him if he wants to get more championship points and pull away from Piper, or just sacrifice that and just finish in 12th place and start high up in the yeah. uh, in the third race. Well, he's, he's still ahead of all the people who haven't pit yet. Look, he's only 10 seconds back on lead. It's about a 10-second pit window right now. So when everyone oh, goes into cool. change, oh, he's done the same thing. Cool did the same thing when he did in the first lap. In the first race, he runs right, and Austin takes the lead. Sorry, I cut you off there, there, Jerry. Oh, no, and meanwhile, Milton and Walsh are side by side for foot for third. And now Ethan Graham's into the mix now, and he got Colin Barrow leading this mess here and sick from back. Yeah, well, I think Colin Barrow's on the different track. Clements is the start of the mediums, right? So that's the race that. Tompkinson's trying to catch up to, which as you can see is super tight with all these medium switchers, right? And then we have the secondary race of the people who haven't pit yet is everyone ahead of him. And as you can see, he's within six seconds of Whoa. the lead, which means, well, he's oh. not six seconds of the lead anymore. But you can see they're within six seconds of the lead, so therefore they're going to pass the leader when the leader's pit, most likely, or be right on them. I don't know why I never happened to Clemens there, but he, he took that spoon Kev absolutely wrong, but he's only lost a spot because of that. Meanwhile, this still looking at the battle for sixth. Pretty tense. So I'm, I'm looking at the battle for sixth place because it's getting even more intense. You got like a five car scrap here, and McEwen's trying to fit the eye of the needle between Clements and Colin Barrow. Now Colin Barrow goes to the inside, nearly pushes Adams off in the triangle. Did he? Mate, this is more like destruction derby than uh, British well, touring cars at this race. For the lead right now on yeah. turn one, by the way. Oh my goodness and me, Ethan! They're gonna go three wide into oh, turn that's, one behind that, him. That's got disaster written all over it. And Ethan again tried to thread the eye of the needle and gets into fourth place and gets into Ben by the look of him. Well, they've been working pretty well together, most of them. Walsh has been battling to stay up here, um, but they are actually kind of they, well. We'll see, but they are closing the gap up on the lead. So everyone's kind of battling, but they're battling in a way that's allowing them to catch up while. You can see Rob's getting slowed down enough by Hogan that his six-second gap to the lead is now an eight-second gap to the lead, and that is not as good when you're working on those, uh, what is it, the uh, pit stops that are coming up. You want to be, like, inside about seven, seven and a half seconds, so now you're possibly coming up behind or right on top of the pit stops because they oh. can't get by Colin Barrow. Oh! I think Adams may have got into the back of Colin oh, Barrow then in the process. I think uh, Austin's got it on the inside against Sean. Yep, Austin's going to go up into the lead. 
Here's a look. Well, let's have a look at a replay then. Just looking at the battle. So what happened? Sean did, did Sean do the same mistake again? He did. He went right through Degna 2. That is three times in two races when he's done that. Uh, I mean, yeah, when you're trying to push everything there, that's the one that if you just go a little bit wide, there's just a tire wall right there that is very dangerous. It can get you sideways, auto spin curve. There's just everything GT Sport has that can just mess you up. They put in one corner called Degner 2. Now, Chevalier has gone by Tompkinson in 13, so I'm wondering if Tompkinson is doing that strategy of finishing poor in the second race for him oh, to be up front. Oh, sets it down in the middle of the track so that uh, Edwards, or not Edwards, uh, Graham can't go by either way because it's too narrow to go inside and there's not enough room on the outside. That's smart. I want to see this battle then for sixth place because Colin Bartle tries. He might have fair play to him. He is defending that sixth place for his life, although he gets oh, the Shikatsu triangle. Did he be? And again, it's yeah, Adams. It Adams got shoved off again at the same part in the first race. Well, Edward just snuck by like that entire battle and got back into the lead. Maybe he can get past Colin Barrow because Colin Barrow is slowing down this entire group. All the way back to Tompkinson, who's still just right in that group. He's, He's just caught there. Up the most. He has caught up a bit, but I'm surprised to see Piper. Where do you race? Oh Where my goodness go? me. Oh, someone's off. Oh. No, what a catch. Hey, welcome to BTCC. <laughs> was that Colin Bartle, was it? Yeah. That Let's have was a look. Impressive. Let's see. So it goes into us the first corner. Yeah. Ooh. Just sort of understeers. Oh, he may have just oh, like handbraked at that corner. <laughs> I hope he didn't. Oh, Edwards. Let's not do it like that. That what was happened? almost horrible. He just caught a little tank slapper by putting a tire on the dirt, and that was almost the end of his race, but he caught it. Oh, is that? that Chevalier going up on the inside of... Hey, that's a little aggressive. Tompkinson will take it and just go on through with it, too. I'm just having a look here at Eddie. Oh, my goodness, Pete. That was a, that was a hair-raising moment there from Edwards. Well, the leaders have finally separated out. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Milton's all over Thomas still. But most of them are getting to run normal laps as they're getting in the end of their stint, where, lucky for them, everyone in this group is now nine seconds back of them. So they're going to come, like, if the pit window was, like, I think there's about eight seconds when you just grab tires on a straight like this. Roughly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this whole group is just going to come out right on top of this group on mediums. That's, well, because this, this group in the front is going to be switching to mediums. So we're going to have an entire group of super softs, like, right on top of them, the of the mediums. Oh, and Colin Bartle's already down to last place. Oh, Colin uh, yeah, Bartle must have made a mistake. No, they were going into Degner 1 and 2, and I think it was Chevalier. Whatever, I don't remember who it was. They got side by side with each other. And, oh, uh, who's oh, that off? Adams. Adams, oh. and gets into Piper. The chicane. The chicane the yet green. again. Man. Did he but, mean? Um, yeah, he got thrown super wide going into Degner 2 and punted all the way back. and He just was starts to break it, I think, did Adams, and then gets into Piper. And I mean, that's the third time the Piper's hit that gravel trap, and it's the second time the Piper had contact at that triangle. And now he's putting, he's trying to put, he's trying to block Tompkinson now, and Chevalier wants a piece of this. I'll tell you what, normally the second races have been quite boring, oh. but this has been exciting. Oh, I mean, everyone kind of... It's Suzuka. Suzuka's a fantastic track. Whoa, Chevalier got it done. Whoa. He has. Sneaky there. Just clamp it down right like that. Oh, I mean, he got into the back of Piper, too. So Chevalier wants more. He wants that ninth place away from Piper. He wants that clean air. He definitely does. Now to the outside of deck. Number one, does Chevalier... That's, that's going to be silly if they can uh, make it stick. Oh, he's off into the kitty letter and Tompkinson pays advantage now. Up and gain two places. Ooh, Chevalier's aggressively keeping it tight too. He got through as well. It's not gone the well for the Coco Lover. Kind of down. Everyone, all of them have gotten by Thomas at this point as Thomas has fallen back a little bit. So, um, Graham's, whoa, Graham's all over Piper, or Austin, I mean, never mind. Oh, he's through! Oh, he's through! Oh, he's, no, he's got off his food! He's got off his food! Oh, Austin yeah. had the lead, and Sean has got it back. I don't know. Yeah. Well, well no, Sean's had not. it back. We just, well, we talked about that a little bit ago. Oh, okay, we then, yeah, the yeah. Pass. <laughs> um, I think we watched the, the pass. I, um, there's too much excitement that's going on here. I've lost one. track. Yeah. 
looking here at Edwards, Clements to McEwen, 6th, 7th and 8th respectively. One. If anyone's going for an undercut, they'd be coming in now, but I don't think that's going to be the best call because that's going to put you in traffic and you don't want to be in traffic on medians for too long. Like, I'm I think someone's come in. Austin, yep. Austin's in. I don't, I don't know. I think he's going to come out in traffic on mediums and it's not going to be as beneficial as people who only have to defend for one lap because now you have to defend for two. Mm. We've got two laps to go. Cool leads the way. Even Graham in second. That's uh, that's uh, McEwen right, and Clements so having a bit Clements, of a battle up yeah, against Clements, the pit wall. This group right here is the group they're going to be coming out against because he was in second place and he and Austin came out behind Clements and Liam. Ooh. So Clements and Liam could be battling for the lead right now. Yeah, because they, they started on Edwards, mediums, didn't they? Edwards as well. Edwards I think Edwards well. is actually in the lead right now. I don't know. I don't, yeah, I think it's going to be close. Yeah, it's the top four that have not yet pitted. It's going to be about just keeping a clean lap here. They, like, they've been what? battling a lot, but they did get some clean air, and this group behind them has been battling, but has gotten some clean air. It's going to be scary. I think this group, like, from Clements maybe to... I think Thompson might have actually fallen too far back, but Clements to Austin is going to add, like, three or four cars to it. Uh, definitely. I was just seeing them with uh, Clements because he caught up a bit on uh, Edwards during the S curves, and then the gap has just sort of uh, sprung out a little bit. But we're on to the penultimate lap here, and it is still cool, but it's yet to pit. Ethan Graham has yet to pit. Ben Milton's yet to pit. Thomas Welsh has yet to pit. That's the top four. And then Edwards in a net lead place because the gap is 6.5 seconds, so he will come out ahead of Sean in yeah, the process when they make the last good. pit stop. Yeah, I think it's going to be good on I think the pit window's closer to 10 seconds, so I think they're going to come out maybe even closer to Tomkinson. It all depends. It's a weird pit. It comes out into a very fast first corner, so if someone comes out of the pit and can get someone to slow down, but usually people just keep their pace up and just go right by anyone out of the pit. Like, you just don't have enough speed to contest the turn. Oh, Sean went way wide. Sean's lost a lot of time. Oh, he, oh he's, he, lose he's, he's gone line. off. He's gone off. Now, he's well, I mean, gained. They're heading to the pit, so that's good. But Oh, oh they're going to go side by side. Where are they gonna come? How do you come out of the pits? We, wait, we, what? Wait a minute. Now, we've seen this glitch before oh, with uh, Clements. Are with they going to come out and each other? They may can. They may will. Well, let's see where they actually come out, because this group's coming by right now. I think McEwen's oh, going to make Sean's just ahead. Sean's just yeah, ahead. Edwards out. is in the lead. Oh, Austin got through. Tompkinson's going to group right up with him. Clements is through. McEwen is in third. Oh, who's that? I thought someone out I saw someone run right, but not to be. And yeah, Edwards into the lead. Solid race for him so far. I mean, the way Suzuka works, you're not super excited about a one-second gap right through here, because they could close it up, but... If you can keep it over a second going into the last straight, you're probably pretty sure you're going to have it. It's And Clements is under pressure from McEwen, so... And McEwen's under pressure from Austin, who's under pressure from Sean, who's under pressure from Graham. And it's just a lie <laughs> from their back. It's a train. It's an absolute train from second all the way down to, the, to top considered eighth place. Oh, Milton tried to think about making a move, thought better of it. That's going to cost him time. He probably always oh, going yeah, to try to finish with Tompkinson. He does. I mean, it's going to be tough to make it stick around the outside, but Tompkinson can maybe narrow him he up. May, nope, he may he have to speed room. off the corner. If he's still side by side with Ben, he may have to speed mm -hmm. off the corner. And no, Ben shuts him off. Oh. Yeah, I mean, they're going to line up. It's going to be all into this. I mean, I'm worried because when you're this close, you think about making moves at that chicane. I would make a move at that chicane. But, I mean, if you keep closing the gaps up like this, people are going to start diving that chicane. And, I mean, I'm excited to see what happens when, like, eighth place dives the chicane into eight cars. But, I mean, you got to go for it. You have to now. I mean, you're getting pulled with slip. People, someone's gonna have to go for like the double pass. Cool. Oh, Sean's, Sean's going, going for the for pass it. to 130. That's gonna be brave. Oh, can, can make a stick. He made that. What? Well, he's gone. Dive the chicane. Go for first. No, but Alex is gonna go lay on the brakes. And look at Milton. Oh. He's gonna go lay on the brakes oh. as well. Oh. It's out. Oh. Little contact from everyone. Oh. Yeah, that's what happens. Oh. Every, <laughs> everybody tried to break late there. 
Edwards wins, Clement second, McEwen third, and Cool gets that fourth place ahead of Alex Austin fifth, Ethan Graham in sixth, Milton seventh, Tompkinson in eighth, then it's Shivali in ninth, and tenth is Thomas Welsh. Here comes Sharp. Sharp's going to come across the line in eleventh place. Then it is uh, Adams and Adam Piper. 13th place. He's going to start second in the third race. And here comes Colin Barrow. Try as he might. A brave attempt to hold off sixth place, but uh, gets last place as a result. But out of all the second races that we've had, that's the best one yet. Oh, yeah. That was. Um... <clears throat> I mean, yeah. Half the field was on mediums racing their race in a complete battle. Half the field was starting super sauce racing their races in a complete battle. And it was trying to just figure out which group was going to come out of which because they were slowing each other down at impressive rates absolutely um, but yeah <laughs> i mean it was a fantastic race and i mean and impressive that all that contact going through that last chicane didn't get anyone just completely destroyed but it, i mean i guess that's what the chicane looks like when everybody breaks 20 meters late yeah definitely i mean it wasn't the case of what rob adams happened to him in the first race so there you go there's confirmation of the results well unofficially uh but lewis edwards gets his second win of the season chris clements equals his best finish i think that is in, in second or maybe his best finish of the season Liam McEwen in a third sean cool gets that last lap pass on austin uh, he gets fourth, then it's Austin fifth. Ethan Graham, sixth place. Ben in seventh. Tompkins in the championship leader and will extend it. We'll finish in eighth place. And he also did pick up another point for the uh, fastest lap yet again. Chevalier ninth for Thomas Welsh. The pole setter in race two finishes in tenth. Sharp gets a couple more points in eleventh. Then it's, it's Adams who has uh, has been not been the best of friends with the Casillo Triangle to say the least. And so too is Adam Piper and the Colin Barlow in fourteenth place. But I have to say, Adam Piper came into this joint championship leader with Tom. Tompkinson. And Tompkins has won the race and has finished eighth and got two fastest laps. So with Piper starting second in the third race, this is pretty much damage limitation. This for Piper, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Um, I've never ever looked at the chat. I decided to check it one time, and the first thing I see is I've seen less contact at a BDSM <laughs> convention. <laughs> this is oh that's that's, that's Leo Welsh. Good. That's Leo Welsh. You used to that is this. way too good. <laughs> I mean, I think anyone who's in the top 10 there thinks they could have won that race, right? I mean, the whole pack was just diving with each other and keeping up. And, um, you know, I think Tompkinson had a good start there getting ahead. Wait, am I think Yeah, getting ahead and getting out there on the mediums and slowing everyone down. But, you know, like we said, it was he could stay in the lead as long as he wanted. It would slow everyone down. But the risk of that is if anyone punts you, you're going to lose a lot of time. And it would have been better just to get away from everybody. And. He got punted, lost a lot of time, um, and then just had to get away from it. And, you know, had to pit and get away from everyone and just couldn't really get it done from there. So I think, yeah, anyone top 10, top 11 in that race is probably looking at that going, hmm, could have won that. And I'm, what you know, if you're starting towards the back, yeah, like if you are got 10th, 9th or something, no, now you get to start towards the front on this race. And, you know, if you can do the same thing, you might be able to take the win. Tell you what, we've got 10 people watching there, which is the most I've seen so far for a while. We've only got four likes. The other six people did not give this a like. Give it a thumbs up here, because I mean, this has been some sensational racing here today. Definitely, race two was the best of the, the other race two, twos I've seen. But you know, I mean, if that's what race two is going to be like, just imagine what the reverse grid is going to be like. This is going to be absolutely insane at this rate, at this point, uh, moment. It's going to be a lot of fun, but I mean, maybe they just don't like good racing. <laughs> Dearie B, see what's uh, what's Clement saying here? Tried getting past Jeff and break late run ride, maybe lost the win. Yeah, we saw that. We did see that. Yeah, because uh, yeah, you, you did take the spoon curve extremely yeah bad when trying to pass uh, Colin Barrow. But uh, yeah, that's that's what probably cost you on a win. But hey, second place is pretty decent. Yeah, yeah. If I remember right, it looked like he got a little bit of contact, got pushed wide, ended up getting on. No, uh... no, 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 no. He just really just was late on the brakes and just uh, ran wide at the, the spoon curve i mean he got by colin barrow night like, fine it was just like it was just yeah, he just true. went by him at such a such a speed that he just forgot to brake that happens i rarely use my brakes i typically rely on the car in front of me all right so here we go then we're getting ready then for the third race the final race of the night round of 15 sorry 12 of 18 of course gotta say that is uh is about to get underway and it will be colin barrow your hero starting on the pole 
And he will be alongside Piper, who, like I said, is going to be damage limitations here. He needs to get a win because he doesn't want to lose more ground to, uh, to Tompkinson in the championship. And there it is. It is Colin Barrow, Piper, Adams, Sharp, Welsh, Chevalier, Tompkinson in seventh, Milton in eighth. Then it is Ethan Graham, Alex Austin, Sean Cool, McEwen, Clements, and Edwards, the winner of race two. Another eight laps around the figure of eight. And Colin Barrow gets the field underway, who's jumped the start. Colin Barrow's jumped the start and threw into the lead goes Adams. And Piper got caught out. Well, this is about seven wide looking like it from my point of view right here. This is going to be a mess. I can tell you that for a fact right now because it is the reverse quid. Elbows out. Time to get a bit dirty here in the third race. And already Tompkinson up to four from starting seventh on the grid. Oh, he's got oh, started on the super. sideways. Sorry it's there. It's really not trying to stay alive. <laughs> like, see, if you started on Super Sauce right now, there's medium somewhere around you. You probably don't necessarily know who all has them, but you just need to stay alive and keep your race going as we see, you know, Milden and everyone going side by side on the mediums with people on Super Sauce all around them. But they'll get separated into their two separate races, it looks like. It looks like about half and half are starting mediums versus Super Sauce. <gasps> Jiddy me, it's all happening here at Degna 1. And Milton's going to lose a few places there. And he sort that out there, but to Colin Bardo down to 12th place out of the pole, but he did jump the start. I don't know if that's going to be uh, thinking with the stewards, but meanwhile, Adams in the lead over Sharp. 1.2 seconds. Squealer ties at the hairpin. Who was that? Was that Sean? Was that Sean Cook getting it all wrong? Or did he have some help? Uh, I, I have no idea. I didn't see Sean. I didn't see who got it wrong. Oh, I did? just noticed the leaders are on mediums. Yeah, yeah, cool. And Milton got together. Them two have had history before. They've made contact before, especially last season, and they've at it yet again. And cool hits the Astro with Spoon Curve. He's going to lose more time now. Losing more spots to Clements. And then there's Edwards gone by. So down to 13th goes Sean. Well, I mean, really to pay attention, Adams is pulling away from Chevalier right now, and Chevalier is on Super Sauce. Yeah, Chevalier's gone by Sharp, he, who did have history before. Well, yeah, and Sharp's on medium, so Chevalier should be go will be going by everyone eventually. Tom can send, oh, who's Adams that gone off? Thomas away. went off in the biggest possible way. No, that was Piper. Oh, that's Piper, Piper. Yeah. Piper's gone off in the, in the, let's have a look here. He just completely lost it here. Gets I mean, it to Rob 130R. Was able to lead on mediums. He didn't do Hits the top the and the tank slap. That's a massive tank slap, and that's a huge off. Holy moly. Let's get a replay of that. It's not gone well for, for Adam Piper here tonight. It really hasn't. This is a big off. Hits the Astro at 130R. No, tell you what, Thomas Walsh, nowhere to go and nearly gets into him. I want to see that view from Thomas because that would have been such a scary experience for him. Let's let's see. Let's ride on board with him. How close was this to making contact? There we go. Oh, <laughs> hello, Sal. That was so close there. Oh, I mean, yeah, we've all been there with that back end whips and there's just almost nothing you can do to get catch it. So now, Chevalier oh. in the lead. Second is Tompkinson. Third is Sharp. Fourth is Thomas. And he got the two Fords. They're pretty much been battling pretty much all season, really. Ben and I, Alex. And I tell you what, fair play to Alex. Even though he's not running high in the championship, he's had a third, he's had a fifth. So this is good championship points here. What Alex is uh, getting here. So that's good to see. Then Milton in 6th, well, Cool 7th, and Colin Barrow 8th. Well, I mean, everyone in 6th, 7th, 8th, the issue they're going to have is that, I mean, Cole's on medium, so Sean's on mediums. He just stayed out an extra lap. He'll be coming in this lap, I'm sure. Not sure why he stayed out the extra lap on mediums, really, but he did. Everyone behind Rob Adams came in, basically. I think, yeah, every single one of them, maybe, yeah, they all came in. So they've all pit. We had about six people come in at the end of first lap. We should be having Cole or Sean come in here at the end of this lap, so that'll be seven of the 14. So half the track will have pitted, and they'll be trying to catch up on this top seven group who now, haven't pitted yet. Although some of them sub mediums as well, so oh, we should be seeing a bunch of people coming in right here to get rid of their mediums. Yeah, there we go. Sean's staying out for a third lap on mediums. Why not? Yeah, no, why not? <laughs> I mean, because I they're slower say, than Super Softs. 
I was just gonna say, Rob started the race on medium tyres and he made the pit stop, but he did have a pretty sizable gap over Chevalier in second place. And what you were saying again in race two with Tomkinson leading the field and then um, not pitting because he was leading the race, do you think? Well, I mean, he's 6.7 think... back. Yeah, I think it's the exact same issue, right? So the goal is that you get your tires done with, you get on your super softs, you don't have to battle anybody, and if you do, you're on a better tire, and that you can just mostly run those laps to catch up the time. If you're in first, you don't actually have to pick because you're technically ahead yeah, yeah. anyways because you have the faster tire. The risk is, since they're actually all on a faster tire than you, you are saying that you're defending. They'll eventually catch you and pass you no matter how slow they are. They're on a two times faster tire than you, right? So yeah. it's smart to not stay out there because if you get punted like Tompkinson did or if you make a mistake on it, or not like Tompkinson did, like if you make a mistake on it or if you get punted or if anything like that happens, that is probably going to cost you more time than just coming in a lap earlier. I mean, my bit of a scrap going on for ninth place. It's from Clements all the way down to Milton, who's down in 14th place. Sharp has just gone by him. Oh, Adams and Sean are side by side at Spoon, and oh, Sean's way wide at Spoon. And through into he P4 it goes Adams. Though. What's that? Well, Sean went way wide, and that stuff can get like ice, but he got it controlled and got right back in the slip. So, lost a lot of time, but could have been a lot more. And Oh, there was a bit of contact. I mean, Adams was still legitimately ahead. It was side by, well, had actually had his front tires beside Sean. Oh, Sean's rear tires. So Tompkinson, did... Chevalier battled back past Tompkinson. Tompkinson was in the lead. Making a way through the Casillo triangle. Let's have a look then for the battle for the lead then. Tompkinson versus Chevalier. As Sean makes his pit stop now onto the Super Softs. We'll see. I feel like that was one too many laps at least, if not two. Blue flags? Who's getting blue flagged? What was that? <laughs> I had no clue. I didn't see it on my screen. Oh, my really... screen said someone was getting a blue flag. It's like, whoa. Well, Kool's got down to 14th oh, place. He's down in Clint last. Caught the... Oh, it's caught the Astro. Let's have a look at a replay then. And the field then. is just so tight. Well, they're still battling side by side with Austin through the S's. Oh, Austin got it done. Nope, oh, Clements is did. going back at him. Driver error. Driver error on Clements' part there. All by himself. And through yeah, goes Edwards, Piper, a little bit of that and Astro, and You can't do anything. Like, I mean, yeah, what do you do? It just turns to ice all of a sudden. Your car spins, and you're just fully trying to catch it. So Clements, after getting a second place last race, struggling here tonight. Piper with that... Uh, Monumental moment at the 130 are trying to recover now into ninth place. The gap between himself to Tomkinson is 11 seconds. So when Tomkinson makes his pit stop, he's still going to be out ahead of uh, Piper. Yeah, and I mean, Rob's got to be like, if Rob Adams is looking at it, he's lost a second to Chevalier on this lap, which is probably worrisome. He doesn't want that pace to continue. Um, but. He's still in the window where he'll come out ahead of him, so he's currently, like, he should be able to figure out by now that he's currently leading this race, and if he can keep bringing that gap down and down and down, this, like, the gap should only come better. Like, Chevalier is going to get worse and worse on his tires at a rate better than you, and then he's going to go on to mediums. Meanwhile, Ethan Graham has just gone by Lee McEwen, that is for P6. And now he's got his teammate Colin Bartle just ahead into 130R for the fourth time in this race. Going to start the second half of this, uh, the final race here tonight. Oh, and someone's off again. Is that Piper? He's done it again. Piper's done it again. How an F? He's done it again, hasn't he? I mean, it's a tough track sometimes. And, you know, once you start making mistakes, you start thinking about them. You try to get a little cute with this something or... You start thinking yeah. about a corner ahead of the corner you're coming up on and you just mess stuff up. An absolute carbon copy what he did on, I think it was the first lap. Absolute carbon copy. Yeah, and I mean, there's some auto spin curbs as well, um, where as soon as your tire catches it, it just whips your car. And if you don't react right immediately, think, it's just game over. I don't think it's an auto spin curb. He just hits the Astro. And you know how slippy the Astro is. And he gets two wheels. And I mean, he got like the front right on yeah, it. Yeah. And, around, and around she goes. Yeah, that, that, that's what we call auto spin curbs. Oh, well, yeah. 
<laughs> like, yeah, that's what an auto spin curve is, is where when your tires touch it, for whatever reason, it's so slip, slippery that it just spins you. And it oh. doesn't do it every time. You can hit it like eight times, and it'll only spin you once. And I'll tell you what, this has been, you could consider this a championship-defining moment here, Piper really struggling around Suzuka, whereas Tompkinson has now oh. gone into the lead. Graham's making his move up. Well, and, I mean, yeah, so Tompkinson needed to get that move done. He doesn't want to get moved back on because we can see Rob's brought that gap down, right? So he has to know. I mean, he probably can't actually see because the game doesn't show him, but seeing Rob in fourth place should let him know that, like, that gap's probably not big enough and that he needs to really start separating some time right now on these super softs before he can't run times because he's running 207s like 207.4 last lap or last lap uh rob's in like the 207.8 range so he can get the gap up some more but he needs to get the gap up some more as quick as he can he doesn't have very many laps left to do it meanwhile just looking at colin bardo in nascar terminology he would have been closed lined hung out to dry on the outside line he was fifth he's all the way down to eighth now because he uh, cars passed him on the inside again the two forwards again battling together austin versus Milton. Them two have been pretty much battling the whole season. Literally, both Ben and Alex. So far in this race is today. It seems to be that Alex has had the upper hand over Ben in this one. And in the background, I see Piper's gone by Sharp. We did see a pass at the... Uh, oh, look at this. That's... Uh, what's Ben doing? He's going to be side by side of Austin. I mean, no get into contact. Yep. And Freddy Austin goes... Oh, he's going for the cutback. Yeah. He's going for the crisscross. Milton's going to have the inside, though, for turn three, I don't and think holds he on. Yeah. I was like, if you don't have any overlap, you're probably not going to be able to win the ass of battle. Now, then, to lap six out of eight, so we're going on to three quarters way of this race, and it is, to my reckoning, uh, I don't think, I think, oh, did, uh, I'm trying to think if uh, Graham actually started on mediums. I can't mind yeah, if he did. Yeah, he's I'm hit. Not... He's okay. currently four seconds back of Rob. He... Is a, like he is actively possibly second right now. Ten seconds back will put yeah, him in second. the battle with Tompkinson yeah. when they all start to come out. Um, Rob's pretty comfortably in first right now since he's already pit. Yeah, but he could make some mistakes. Uh, but we are going to see, unless I'm remembering this wrong, which is very possible. But I'm pretty sure Rob's pit and he's currently. Yeah, he did pit. He did pit. Yeah. Okay. Um. You can tell by... maybe has some fantastic tire wear. Yeah, you, you can tell when when the guys have not yet pitted because you look at uh, Nathan's first lap it's a two eleven, and then you look at Adam's yeah. time of a two twenty. That's 220. when you know that they pit. Yep. Good call. So, so yeah, I mean they're going to come out pretty much like last race. Adams will have a decent little gap, and I think Tompkinson's going to bounce out into the whole track. Oh, there, there goes Chevalier, and he keeps it on. He doesn't spin it like Thomas, uh, sorry, Adam Piper did two times. So, yeah, this is pretty much Adam's oh, losing. He's, he's going got for a top the undercut. I just don't like the undercut here. Like, you're and giving so up your super soft. You're not losing that much time, I don't think. Like, a lot of people are running their fastest lap almost in that lap on super softs. Like, I just feel like run them as long as you can. I feel like we'll see. I think. Uh, Sean Cole's the probably one of the best examples of running the mediums a little bit too long. We'll see where he ends up finishing, but I think but my reckoning he's sitting in a tenth place and he's just passed Alex Austin in the process and he's got Milton just ahead, who's got Clements just ahead of him as well. Now Chevalier actually came out in third place, so he's in a net second we place. Expected him too. And then you got Thomas in a net third place. So Ethan is gonna come out in fourth and McEwen fifth, and it's just Tompkinson who's yet to pit. Now, what is the gap between himself to uh, Chevalier is 8.5 seconds. So if he can hold that gap, Chevalier could be ahead of Tompkinson, I reckon. Or maybe just behind. He went for the behind. undercut. He went for the undercut. We know that's what he went for. We'll see what kind of lap he can get on his out lap, but I'm just not convinced Tompkinson's going to run a medium time on these super softs yet. Like, they're still pretty good. Like, I think that everyone's having to switch to mediums because you just have to run mediums, not because their tires are dying. If you look at his tires, he could go another four or five laps. Let's see if he makes his way then into what's a spook curve. And 6.5 is the gap, which he will have to surrender, obviously, because he has to make a pit stop anyways. 
Yeah, it's really going to be up to Chevalier. And, you know, honestly, maybe getting in there early is a good idea because if you can run a lap to, like, come out next to him, I mean, I would rather be on a flying lap going into turn one than coming out of the pits to defend. Like, how do you defend coming out of the pits? You're going eight miles an hour. But I think Adams is going to get himself a nice, comfortable two-second lead for this final lap. And the real question is if oh! Chevalier can make up any kind of time on it on a harder tire. McEwen gets, just holds on to that sick place. So into pits then comes uh, Tompkinson. And so, as you say, where is he going to come out in? So he makes the tires on to the mediums and out he comes. Oh, into... and he's... And Cheval yeah, see, Chevalier lost way too much time, I think. Yeah, he did, yeah. And it's because he didn't get to run the lap on super softs. And he's trying to push really hard because of that. He's gone and off. going to maybe cost him a position, yeah. He's gone off. Now, further behind, there's some battling going on then for sixth place now with McEwen trying to go around the outside of Ethan Graham, and he's got it. And now Edwards wants a piece of that too. Them two had a bit of oh. major scrap. Oh, and Graham gets oh, on the gravel. A... I cannot believe Graham. He may have put. Oh, and then, and then, and then there's the payback. There was the he payback. <laughs> that's that's what you expect to see in touring cars. If you get hit, you get it oh, back. Oh, and uh, just how's Milden always involved? Anytime someone's going three <laughs> wide, you just see Milton somehow sliding his car, and they're like, let's go, too. I'm here. I'll go four wide. <laughs> now, he's just there to pick up the pieces that's anything. So down goes uh, Edwards down to 11th place, then. That's what you call give and take. Don't give out unless yeah. you take it back. Oh. And Milton makes a mistake here. Deck the two. And now Oops. down to 11th goes Milton. Uh, but when we said, when we were wondering if anyone oh, could catch up Rob, whatever. Tomkinson is on Rob right now on the mediums on this final lap. He has his slip going into the final corner, so he might be able to get this win, actually, as he has oh, closed that gap up in one lap. Here we go, then. Like, he got by Chevalier, which, I'm sorry, I missed that, and is on a hunt right now. He actually came but out he the pits ahead of tire. Chevalier. He's yeah, got he the does. better tire, but it's the harder tire. So... Oh, Rob. Rob. There's going to be Rob. a lot of pressure into uh, this chicane right and, here. And Rob hasn't oh, had a lot of... Oh, he's got, a, he's got oh, the he's run the now. Here he goes then to the triangle for the last time. Race? It will oh, be a drag race. Oh. Adam's going to be really late. He's going to get the perfect switch back if he doesn't sit it down. He didn't sit... Oh, I would have slowed down on the oh, chicane just to he's done slow it. down. Yeah, he's done it. He's I just think held on. It. Yeah, he did defend it. Adams wins his second race of the season. Tompkinson second. Chevalier, it will be a podium Austin this time. passes Graham for seventh on the last chicane. Oh, he did. Milton. Look at the mess. Look at the mess Whoa. going on for seventh Whoa. and back. Well, Jesus, seventh to eleventh pass before I could see what happened. Uh, literally, yeah. Sharp just gets finishes ahead of Adam Piper. Some more championship points then for Piper. Uh, sorry, for Ash Sharp and Piper. 13th place and Colin Bartle brings up the rear but we're going to get up the official results here because 7 through 11th was very very close there quite close well, yeah. we'll get it up. I mean they were all battling side by side super close racing the entire race can't really expect anything else it's how race 3 usually goes it's just usually not race 2 that like leads the way with insanity there you go. So 7 through 11th is only 8 temps between 5 drivers. So Rob Adams, another win in the championship for Robin. Fortunately deserved to. He got, you know, he got punted off on the last lap in the, uh, in, in the gravel in, in race 1. The moment that he had in race 2 at the same part, punting off Piper 2. So, you know, he, he kind of wanted that there, did uh, Adams. Tompkinson, massive boost for this championship considering that Piper really struggled around here. Chevalier, that could be an earned podium. He did finish on the podium at uh, Lago Maggio, but it got taken away from him because of the contact our shop. So I think that is a fully deserved podium for him. Thomas Welsh gets fourth place. McEwen in fifth. Sean Koo, after pitting in on the mediums on lap three, I think it was, he finishes in a, a fairly respectable sixth place anyways. Seventh for Austin who led this madness battle between himself, Ethan Graham, Ben Milton, Chris Clements, and uh, Lewis Edwards. And then Ash Sharp finishing ahead of Adam Piper, who has had an absolute nightmare of a weekend as Adam Piper just didn't do particularly great. And I think you could that you could see could be the end of Piper's chances of a championship. And Colin Bardo brings up the rear in 14th place. So by my reckoning, I think that was probably the best races of the season so far. What do you think, Jerry? Yeah. 
I mean, that was quite a bit of fun. I mean, congrats to Rob on the win. That was a heck of a battle there in that final race. And just, I mean, amazing racing for everyone. I'm sure everyone had a blast because it looked like a lot of fun out there. It definitely did. A lot of argy-bargy, but anyway, still nonetheless some fantastic racing. And uh, I think that's pretty much a wrap there. So uh, next week, we're going to be at Sedegna B, I believe that is. That'll be the penultimate round of the championship. I think there is also going to be another rallycross meeting on next Wednesday, which I think I'm not going to be there. I've, I've got a hospital appointment then. So I don't know who's going to be streaming that. But uh, I know for a fact, I don't think I'm going to be there. Um, but I know there's, there, there is a SBR Rally Cross Part 2. Since there was a lot of success, they wanted to do it again. Hopefully, we'll probably need a commentator for that. But, uh, yeah, that was that was certainly some entertaining stuff uh, in the first uh, uh, Rally Cross. But, anyways, this has been the BTCC Blueprints with STDR 84 Designs. Suzuka, I have been Sean. And I'm Jerry. And we will see you again next week at Sedegna. So, till then, goodbye.